Hi, Ray here. In this video, I'm going to compare the 70-200 Z-mount VRS lens with a 2x teleconverter to the 400 4.5S. So as I mentioned uh, quite a few videos back, uh, a year or so ago, when I bought this, um, for years my go-to 400mm lens was in fact a 70 to 200 with a two times teleconverter, but that was the um, old version. So since I've gotten the into the Z system and this lens, and I bought the 400 4.5, I think it'd be instructive. And in fact, I had a request recently for such a comparison to um, look at the uh, IQ of images made with, uh, I'm gonna use the Nikon Z9 with these two lenses and let's um, compare. So uh, welcome to Sydney with an I, and we're gonna go out around here and do some comparisons. Okay, I just made some photos of that wonderful uh, sculpture. <laughs> the Z9 was trying to figure out what it was, it, like where's the I? Um, and so now I'm gonna switch to the 70 to 200 2.8 and we'll see what we get with that okay so we've got the 70 to 200 2.8 on there make sure we zoom right out to 200 and what we're going to get with this is um 5.6 with the two times teleconverter on there so let's roll it so here we are in sydney by the sea admiring this um, whimsical sculpture and incidentally sydney's sister city in australia is not as you might think sydney with a y but Carnes has a little bit of information for you. So here we are looking at this sculpture. And on the left hand side here, we have the 400 4.5 lens. So let's just uh, zoom in here and look at this. Uh, I think it's a beak. <laughs> I don't know what this is, I must say. I'm not, um, I'm not an art connoisseur when it comes to sculpture. So I think we can see right away who's got the sharpest beak here when we compare to over on the right hand side here, the 70 to 200 2.8 with the two times teleconverter. Let's look here. We got some reflections in this um, belt, whatever this is. Maybe somebody can, I'd love to hear in the comments um, what your interpretation is of this sculpture. So again, 400 here, 70 to 200 here. Let's look over at this reflection. That's kind of interesting. Let's go, we can't, I'm not gonna go into the corners here because everything's out of focus. Well, okay, let's just go up into this corner. There's the difference there, if you can see anything. I think, yes, it's a little bit more resolution or whatever you want to call it. A little more contrast. Yeah, there's a bit more contrast on the 400 in the corner there. So let's go to our next two candidates. And this is less than perfect because obviously this side and this now is our, yeah, this is our 400 here. And actually you can already see there's quite a difference here. So let's just zoom in to the dreadlocks of our pirate here. And there's quite a huge difference there. And one would think that this one, the the 400 would have a bit, a bit of a, well, I don't know. I don't know that it would have any advantage. It's off to the side more than here. And I'm presuming that my focus was good. So let's look at the 200 there. We're gonna have to move over a bit here to look at the, uh, sorry, the <laughs> 70 to 200 here with a two times teleconverter. Let's look at that. Look at the arm. If we look over here at the 400, that's quite a, dis quite a distinction, I must say. Our next two comparisons here. Um, this is interesting because we have some text to look at here and quite brightly lit. It was certainly not the greatest time to be out shooting, but that's when I was there. So this is rather interesting. In our corner here, it looks like the advantage goes to the 70 to 200. So this may be a slight difference in focus. Let's look at our crab here. Definitely when we look at the 400 compared to the 70 to 200, 2.8 with the two times teleconverter, that's quite a difference there. And if we go into this corner, again, we can see a major difference there. Um, I, don't, I don't know that we can take anything from this out, out of focus area. Let's look at the, the rivets or what have you here. And again, we can see with the 400, quite a lot sharper 
quite a lot more contrast. And that's something that I should note, is that, first of all, most of these images, I didn't change from what they were shot at. The profile was the flat profile. That's generally what I, that's my default profile. Um, and then of course I go from there in Lightroom. Let's look up at this colored area. You can see more contrast in the 400. We go down to here. You can see, you can see, definitely see the resolution is better here with the 400. Let's go to our next couple of candidates right here. Now again, this is stretching it a little bit because obviously I couldn't get the same shot in between changing the lenses on the Z9. Also, the other thing that I should mention is that it was a very hot day, 30 degrees or so, and there's a heck of a lot of heat waves in the air. You can see <laughs> quite uh, quite huge there. So yeah, it's hard to, um, to look at that there. But I think you might be able to take something from the rocks. So we can see here the rocks. They're going to be a little bit of a out of focus because we are actually focused on the boats. And what we're seeing there, I think, is a little bit of motion blur. So again, here we are with the 2 times TC on this side, on the 70 to 200, and the 400, 4.5 here. 400, 4.5. Where is that? And here, we can see there's there's a bit of a difference there, but I can't vouch for the exact focus on this. And this is shot at 5.6, both images 5.6, because what I tried to do here, because when you put the two times teleconverter on the 70 to 200, your widest aperture is 5.6. So for most of these images, except where I will note, both lenses were set to 5.6. Now this gentleman was kind enough to hold his meditative pose long enough for me to actually change lenses. So now on the left hand side we have the 400 millimeter 4.5, on the right hand side the 70 to 200. And this is really quite interesting to me because there's not a huge amount of difference and maybe that's because you know he's pretty much in both of them in the center. So the difference is not really glaring. On the left hand side here, the 404.5. On the right hand side, the 70 to 200 with the two times teleconverter. I mean, yes, you can see the difference. I can tell the difference. Can you tell the difference? It's interesting to look at his fingers. It's amazing how he did. I mean, it probably took me like a minute to change up here. So yeah, um, we can't learn anything from the corners here because they're out of focus. We'll look at his shoes. And that's kind of interesting. That there's actually, that's interesting. There's actually a bit more resolution in the shoes in this case with a 70 to 200. I don't know why. What are we shooting at here? Uh, one five hundredth of a second. So I don't think he moved his feet fast. Our next two candidates now. I like this one uh, for more than just this, this test. Um, I would put a bit more contrast into this, but again, this is just shot at the flat profile. Let's go in straight away for this sign here. And we can see with our 400, 4.5 on the left and our 70 to 200 on the right, that's quite noticeable difference. If we go up to the people here in this crowd, some of them are still sort of in the same position. I think they were fascinated by the crabs and our fishermen here. So again, we can see quite a difference in terms of the sharpness and the resolution, particularly in the wood here. That's quite interesting. I think we can go down here and we can see the difference in the resolution on the waves here. Again, 400, 4.5 on the left, 70 to 200 with the, the two times teleconverter. Let's look down in this corner. Again, we can see not a huge difference there, but if we look at the, well, yeah, there is quite a difference there. If we look at the chain and those cross members, the rust, yeah, that's quite interesting to look at. So again, I like that one. Quite interesting. Our next two candidates. Now I did do some editing on this. First of all, I changed the profile from the flat profile to the camera standard profile. And this was shot at F16. I focused on these foreground trees here. So let's look at that. In the center there, the difference is not huge. If we go out to this corner, I think we can see that the 400 on the left hand side is definitely sharper and different contrast. Let's go straight to the corner here. 
because this is where we're going to really see a difference in this image. So if we look at the microwave tower, I think that's what that is. And this telephone pole, well, do I need to say any more? That's a huge difference there. If we look at the far mountainside here, we can also see, well, we can see the trees, the subtlety of the trees, much more contrast from the 404.5. And the resolution on those trees on that distant hill, it's quite obvious to see. Now to our next two candidates. We have a similar comparison here, although there is next to no editing on this image. But if we go here and we compare between these two fir trees, the top of tips of the fir trees, again on the left hand side, the 404.5. And if we go over to this side, again, we can see the difference there, quite apparent. As I think I said in the intro, the 70 to 200 2.8 with a two times teleconverter was kind of my go-to wildlife setup for about a decade. And I will put at the end of this video, I'll put a link to my review or comparison of the old F-mount 70 to 200 2.8 and this new Z-mount 70 to 200 2.8. But because I'm not a wildlife photographer, I couldn't really rationalize uh, one of the super tellies until this 404.5 came along. And then I'm Obviously I bought it and I'm really glad that I did because it really is just a superb lens at its price. Certainly I'm not enough of a wildlife or sports photographer to rationalize the purchase <laughs> of the 400 2.8 with the built-in uh, 1.4 teleconverter. So actually the 400 4.5 really does highlight what a great lens that is. You know, I think people who've tried both have said the 4.5 really is a great lens. Anyway, we're at this new location here and you'll notice that this time I'm going to stabilize the camera. We're going to switch out the monopod for a tripod so that I can do some more tightly controlled images that we can compare. So here we are on the sports field and I thought that this jumble of goals would serve its purpose. And so if we just go right into here with our on the left hand side this time the 70 to 200 2.8 with a two times teleconverter now we can right away see in the netting there on the right hand side our 400 gives us much better resolution there and if we go over to this side same thing so yeah we see on the chain link fence we can see how much more contrast and sharpness there is with the 400. finally i liked this it's kind of interesting for its own sake but I, I certainly think that it works for this so if we just zoom around here and we look at the difference with the 400 4.5 on the left hand side this time and the 70 to 200 2.8 with the two times teleconverter on the right hand side if we look now in this corner i don't need to say anything about that i mean look at the sharpness of the bolt there and just the lamp in general if we go up here, look at these cooling fins. That's pretty cool. And the bolt there. Go right up here into the bulb. We can see the difference. And let's look at the let's look at the uh, tar or whatever it is on this pole and these wires. Again, 404.5 on the left, 70 to 200 on the right. It's really quite apparent, isn't it? Well, I hope you found these comparisons interesting maybe even entertaining. If you did, please do give this video the old thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, please do consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell to be alerted to new content. In the meantime, take care, cheers, and we'll see you later.